welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be recreating the makeup look that I wear for my day's my sister's baby gender reveal I did film the video that day of what I was going to be doing my makeup on but I wasn't sure how the makeup was going to turn out so I kind of stopped in the middle of filming and didn't end up finishing the video and then I kind of regretted it because I was like, oh my god, it came out so good. So, today I'm going to go ahead and recreate it. And I am wearing my shirt, pink or blue, Tia slash Nina loves you. So, my brother, my mother, and myself got custom shirts made. And I really love how they turned out. One of my friends actually did it. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull my hair back. Um, I did break a nail and I need to go get a fill, so excuse the nail but I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face I'm gonna use the Tatcha the dewy skin cream I'm gonna go ahead and prime it I always have to moisturize prime my face before anything because I just want to prep my face so my foundation looks amazing and I'm also gonna go ahead and try out a new foundation wet and wild was so kind enough to send me some foundation so I can try and that's what I'm gonna use today and I actually chose the color uh, this is golden beige 368C and this is in the photo the foundation photo focus this one so that's the one I'm going to be using today and excuse the noise if you guys can hear but here in LA it's freaking hot and I honestly cannot close the window I actually had to move my fan over here so I can get some air because I'm, I'm already sweating so I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face I am using the cover effects primer blurring primer just to cover my pores and then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my foundation so the one that I'm using today is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color 368. I forgot to put my phone on mute. Um, so that's the one that I'm going to be using today. I'm actually going to shake it. And I'm not used to these kind of foundations because this one I noticed that it's a uh, this. And I'm kind of used to the little pump so I don't know maybe I can use a pump. Um, I'm actually going to use my beauty sponge and I'm going to spray it with some setting spray. Everybody always asks me what I use, why do I use, is the Urban, Urban Decay All Nighter. I just like to spray some of that to my sponge just because I feel like it helps and I actually ran out of it. Oh my gosh, it's not even coming out anymore. I just kind of like to set it a little bit with that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, I'm going to apply this behind my hand for now. I'm not used to um, this, so I'm just going to go ahead and start blending that into my skin. I think that's a great color, so I'm just going to go with this one. It does kind of look yellow on camera, but in person it doesn't, but we'll see. So far it looks really good. I don't know how it looks in camera. I kind of have to put the um, the viewfinders um, lighting a little high because I can barely see it sometimes because of all the lighting. So I made it brighter. So I don't know how it really looks because it just makes everything look a lot brighter. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this foundation. A little bit more and I got myself a new mirror so it's a little bit bigger now so I can actually see everything that I'm doing so that's exciting all right you guys know I like my coverage on my cheeks so I will be adding a little bit more there but kind of want to focus the foundation on the rest of my face for now so I did start a well I didn't start I've already had this channel but I am starting to vlog a little bit more now that my mom's here on vacation um, so if you guys want to definitely check out our blog channel I'll list it down below but it's life with pretty little miss grace and 
um, yeah, you can definitely check us out. There's videos of us and the kids and my husband and all that. So if you guys want to check it out, definitely subscribe. It would mean a lot. So. so far, the foundation looks really good. And I think it's really inexpensive. So... that everything is really nice and blended they also sent me um four different concealers and i'm actually going to use light honey and i'm going to apply this under the eyes i'm going to tell you right now like being honest i don't like how this feels like i'm not really into creams like i like everything to be liquidy i feel like it's more I don't know I, I i guess it's just preference i guess but this is like really different for me i honestly don't know we'll see how it all looks but yeah so far i don't like the applicator i guess i'm not used to it i'm, I'm getting used to the big ones and i don't know so yeah it's just me you know I mean, like, a lot of people could like it but maybe i'm not used to it and blend it out actually it's really good these baby hairs keep popping out the concealer is really good actually i like it i like how it's blending out is this for coverage it looks really good actually wow all right set it i'm actually going to set it with my peach perfect setting powder because i don't have any other powder to set it with um so i'm gonna go ahead and set it with this powder and it's my favorite anyway so My birthday's coming up guys and I'm really excited about that. I mean another year older. I'm bringing my brushes this way because I broke. That's not it. Um where is my brush? Oh Jesus. Sorry guys. I pushed my brushes back and obviously my brush is not in here. I'll just use this one for now so i'm gonna go ahead and set my face not my brush of choice to be honest with you guys i don't even know where it's at just kind of crazy there was a touch mm -hmm. all right just use this big one for now so i'm gonna go ahead and set the face with this big brush i like the other one it takes a little bit less of product. This one I grabbed a lot and now it's like everywhere. But it does um set nicely so if you guys haven't seen the video of my sister's gender reveal, I'll link it down below. It was really nice. We all cried. It was really nice. It was a nice gender review. Okay, now I'm really nice and set. All right, so moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush. I'm using the Marc Jacobs one. I really like that one for some reason. I don't know. I just keep going back to it.
know, Marc Jacobs used to send me PR and it was like really cool. And one day I moved and now there's no way for me to update my address. Like I emailed them and they keep sending me messages about, oh, thanks for being interested in our PR, whatever, blah, 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 you know, and we're not taking it. I'm like, I'm not even asking for anything. I'm just asking you to update my address, y'all. So they haven't sent me PR in a while and I guess I'm not in their list anymore. And I don't know, that's kind of messed up. Like it would be nice if companies actually let you know it's like hey you know what we're taking you off the PR list because we don't like you we don't think you're good enough or whatever the case is just like let us know and not have us thinking like oh we're getting this new product they're coming out with and we're waiting for it and it never gets here and then you're thinking well I guess I'm not in the PR list anymore that's what happened to me because I've been waiting and waiting and no new products To contour. I'm actually using the Becca bronze, so just to kind of bronze my face a little bit. Actually, for the jaw, I'm gonna use this Elf Multi Blender or something. I don't know. I kind of liked it for the for my jaw. I don't even think this brush is for that, but I'm still gonna use it. All right, I'm just gonna go back and blend everything out just to make sure that everything is really nice and blended because on camera it looks a little crazy. But like I said, it could be the viewfinder that is um, brighter, so it's making everything pop a little bit more than it usually does. So. Yeah. I kind of like to put everything away while I'm filming. Well, not filming, but when I'm getting ready. I'm going to use the Melt Cosmetics Gold Ore. I don't know how, to, how you say it, but I bought this at um, one of the events. I feel out of it today for some reason. I think it was at Fame X. No, it wasn't Fame Expo. It was Generation Beauty or something like that. I went to one with my friend and I never really buy anything from them. I'm actually gonna open this, um, the All Nighter from Urban Decay, the, the summer one, because the other one's old, doesn't have any more. I'm gonna spray my brush. Oh, my friend um, convinced me to buy it, so I was like, okay, might as well. I usually don't buy anything. Do you guys see this? I'm gonna go ahead and um, do my eyebrows off camera. I mean, they're microbladed, but I do like to have my eyebrows a little darker. And I recently have been loving the Makeup Geek Dark Brown Brow Liner. I'm gonna show you guys. It's very, it has like, I wanna say it has like a little bit of wax in there because it just makes my hairs stay in place. Like, yeah, I think it does have wax in there because I feel it feels like it. But I really love this pencil, and I'm actually running out of it, so I have to go look at Target to see if they have it. But you can get it on her website as well. See how, how my eyebrows look? Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. I was supposed to do my eyebrows off camera. 
I'm already there. I feel sluggish because I just had like dinner. So I feel really tired right now. So excuse my energy, but I just ate. So I feel good a little bit and then I start feeling like, oh, I need a nap. I really need a nap. So. That's why I'm all over the place right now. Alright, so... I will clean up my eyebrows in a little bit. I actually use a concealer to do that. If I can find it. I just need to... The one that always gets lost is that brush that I use to clean the concealer with. I can never find it, like it gets lost. Here it is, found it. So I use a little bit of the It Cosmetics Concealer. And then that's what I use to carve out my eyebrows. I just kind of clean it off on the bottom just to make sure. I think I'm gonna close the window because honestly, I'm getting annoyed by the cars. And I bet you guys are too, so I'm gonna have to get up and close the windows. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the windows and I'll be back. Alright. I close the window. I'm gonna start sweating, so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead um, and show you guys what I did. I actually used the James Charles palette to do this makeup look. I wasn't sure where I really wanted to do, but it came out really nice, so I'm like, I have to film it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that Makeup Forever Flash Color Stick as my um eyeshadow base and you can still hear them like even if you close the window you can still hear the cars pass so annoying but anyways so i'm just using a morphe r32 brush to apply the primer Hopefully it comes out the same because I don't know if I'm the only one, but when you try to recreate other people's looks, like it just doesn't come out the same and it's a struggle. Alright, so good thing I have a broken nail. I can use my finger to kind of blend this out. With nails, girl, I cannot blend it for life. Alright. So I'm actually gonna pull out the picture. For sure, I know I did pink first, so. And you know what, I'm looking at my pictures. I don't think I even posted a picture of it. No, I didn't even post a picture of it on my social media. Honestly, social media is like a whole different ball game now. I feel like there's a lot of competition and I'm like, I don't know how to edit pictures. I don't know how to do none of that stuff. So my pictures don't stand out. So, I get really frustrated sometimes. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the pink shadow. That pink is going to go right onto my crease. I mean, did I? I don't remember my own looks, guys. Um, I'm assuming I did because I don't think I even took pictures. Wait, I did take pictures with my grandma. I'm itchy and I really want to sneeze so bad. Okay, so I actually have a video. Let's see. You probably won't be able to see it. I have a video of it. So, I have a video of it. So, pink was right on my crease. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply that. But I'm going to apply some setting uh, translucent powder. Oh my God. See, I'm telling you guys, I'm really out of it. All right, so I'm gonna apply some translucent powder under the eyes, just so any fallout comes out. I actually catch it, and it doesn't mess up my whole look. So I'm going to apply the pink shadow on my crease. 
So I kind of first go ahead and apply it at, so it could be my guideline. Then I start building the color. So I'm just going to go slowly. So I build it. When I first started doing the shadow, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I kind of sat there and I'm like, what do I want to do? I want to create something that has both colors, pink and blue. So I can represent whatever, you know, we are thinking that the baby could be. And then, you know, so that's what I did. So I'm just blending this in, making sure that the color is as pigmented as I like. You can open your eyes, make sure you can tip your head over like this, just to make sure what where the color is. So I just want to make sure the color is there. So I'm going to go a little bit more here and apply it. Alright, so then I went ahead and I applied purple. I mean, I did the. I wasn't going to do purple, but I did purple because once I applied the blue on my crease, on my lid, the shadow that was pink turned purple as well in the middle. So that's what happens. So I decided to go ahead and might as well do it. So I'm mixing those two purples and then I'm going to start applying this right onto the crease because that's going to actually help the blue blend in with the pink because pink and blue make purple so you want to take your time doing this like I said and this is a morphe brush and you just want to use it to blend and apply the color so you're gonna want to apply it a little bit lower and then kind of blend it into the pink. Try not to overlap it because then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna lose the pink. So I'm gonna go back with the pink and kind of blend out the harsh line from the purple. That's why I kind of went a little um, high up a little bit just so that you can see it. Cause you wanna be able to see all those colors. Going back again with that purple and reapplying the color just to make sure that it is as dark as I want it. I think I'm good with that. I'm going to blend this right here. Alright. It's okay if it looks dirty, harsh, we're gonna go ahead and fix that. All right, after I laid that color down, I'm gonna go back with the Morphe 224 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and reapply the eyeshadow base because we already got it all dirty. And I'm gonna apply my baby blue on there and I want it to pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and start packing this base. And if you feel like your purple is disappearing, you can go back and reapply a little bit of it. All right. So after it is packed there, I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of the setting spray. And I'm gonna apply that baby blue shadow and it's a shimmery i wanted to do the other blue but i think the baby blue one was a lot better than that one so that's what i'm going to go ahead and apply doesn't that look really pretty So I'm gonna grab a smaller pencil brush and I'm going to grab that purple shade and I'm gonna go back and kind of carve this because I feel like it's disappearing on me. I kind of did like a sandwich type of eyeshadow. You guys remember those looks that I do? And just blend 
all that out. I'm going back again with that baby blue. And we pack it. Alright. Uh, I'm looking for another flat brush. Where are you flat brushes? I'm going to grab a smaller one. Grab a little bit of the white. Just to give it a little pop. Going back again with that baby blue. And go around. So there we go. And now I'm just going to go back and blend everything out. You could definitely do that while you're doing everything. But I saved it for last. So I really like how this looked um, then I went ahead and I applied glitter I'm actually going to do that just wanted to show you guys this is what it looks like um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye then I'll come back and make sure I can show you guys how I did the glitter All right, so I, for glitters, I actually used the heavy metals from Urban Decay. These are new ones. I actually mixed a bunch of them. Uh, this one is the Saturday Stardust. This one is a pink one. So I went ahead and I mixed a little bit of that. I'm actually going to put it on top of a package that I got today. A little bit. And then I mixed a little bit of the party monster I try to do maybe the same amount on each just so that it doesn't overpower um, so I did that I applied a little bit of the blue one in there it's purple bluish one so I applied the pink the, the bluish one here is the actual blue one this one I felt like it would overpower it so I didn't really apply this one in there I also have a silver one and I didn't apply that one because I felt like it would overpower the whole look. Um, and then I do have this one. This one is Dreamland. I did apply a little bit of that one as well. That one really doesn't have like um. I know I did apply a different one, but I don't know which one is it. No, it's not this one. So I'm gonna put this one back. Let's see. This one, this one. And then this is the cool one. I actually do know that I have another one, but I don't even know where I left it. And I thought I had put it here in my collection. It's right here. Hello. Right here. So this one is the Distortion. This one is like a white. I'm going to play a little bit of that one as well. I'm going to show you guys before I even mix it so you guys can kind of see. Um, I mixed it in this little thing right here. And I'm going to be able to see it. Let's see. Right here. Um, I'm going to mix it with a brush like mix all the colors together just so that it all becomes one the pink one looks like it's kind of overpowering all the other ones so but it's not too bad so i just kind of want to mix it um i did try putting it with a brush but i felt like it wouldn't um stick properly 
So I am going to use my finger. Thankfully, I have a broken nail. So I'm going to go ahead and... I dropped a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and start just randomly like I did on my mermaid look randomly and it looks very pretty because it does have the colors of the gender reveal pink and purple and pink and blue um it's just that I feel like once I apply this it kind of takes over the blue a little bit but it's okay because you know let me see maybe if i apply a little bit more of that blue before i apply the glitters maybe it'll work we'll see we'll walk around with two different eyes maybe actually this works this works just applying it on top I'm just kind of like that all right so so that's what that looks like See, when I started doing it, I before I even put the glitter, I was already effing like, what if it doesn't look good? Like, I'm gonna look dumb recording this, but this looks really cute. I really like how this looks. So, after that, I'm gonna grab my pencil brush again, and I'm going to apply, I don't even think I applied anything under the eyes because I was thinking that it was already too much. So I might leave it like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara and then my lashes for lips I use that um, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipstick because it was like a neutral color so you can use that or anything that you want to use I obviously did it just because I didn't know what other thing I wanted to add to my lips so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara I'll try to hurry up because it's already late. It's actually 7.30 and my husband's about to get home. And the kids are outside with my mom, so I kind of wanted to hurry and do this. There you go. A little bit of dry mascara fill on me. I'm just going to apply some. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes that into you from the bold cosmetics um, You guys know those are my favorite lashes Have them over here. I've been using them a lot and these are like bold so I still am able to use them because I Mean they're reusable and I take care of them. All you have to do is remove the the old glue and then you're good to go So that's what I am going to do all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some eyelash glue to my falsies because you guys can see what it all looks like. So I'm just gonna apply this so it gets tacky and then moving on to the next one. And just for the sake of the video, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just do my under eyes I'm gonna grab a little bit of the stick I'm just gonna call it eyeshadow base and apply this to the bottom lash line so that's gonna help make the colors pop a little bit more really nice and blended I'm gonna grab some of that pink and then just apply this with the outer corner this is a I have no idea what brush this is most likely it's one of those morphe old brushes um, but I like it because it's so fluffy and it doesn't hurt when I apply color Sorry if I'm going down like this. It's just that I feel more comfortable going like that. I don't know for some reason. All 
All right, and then I'm going to apply some of that blue. So I'm gonna set, spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray, going with that baby blue shimmer. my lashes I feel like I'm getting ready for my sister's gender reveal again you see that how pretty that looks So just let that dry. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara to the bottom lashes. Okay, I can hear my mom. I don't know if you guys can hear her. I think I'm running out of this mascara. No milk makeup. I need a backup. I have a backup. Alright. Alright, so one more touch. I actually applied a little bit of the, what is this? Rimmel London Scandal Eyes 24, this nude one, in the eyes just to make my eyes pop a little bit more so they can be a little brighter. So I apply that in the waterline. All right, and yeah, that's basically what I did for my eyes. Um, for my lips, like I said, I did I did use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick, and I left it in the car, most likely, because it's not in here. Ooh, what is this? Lip gloss. I don't want to use lip gloss, but. We'll just use this one for now. This is the Time Los Angeles Nudie Tude. I don't know. Oh, it's a little too light. Sorry, I can add a gloss to it, but it's a little too light. It actually looks nice. Can I just use the, a pencil? 